Hi guys, Jennifer here from My Properly Life and today's video is going to be about my pen collection. Um, it's going to be, I think, a two-part video um, because I have this storage unit and then as you can see here in the background, I have this little storage caddy there that sits on my desk and this one um, stays underneath my desk because um, there are more of pens that I don't use on a regular basis. So um, this is basically just my little storage craft tote that I'm using to store all my pens and um, other little things here and there. So I'm going to go over this um, pen case for storage for you guys. Um, a lot of you guys have requested that I um, share with you guys what's in all of these little boxes and stuff so um, I'm going to share that with you guys today. Also, um, this caddy, some people have used them for their planner storage or for their Filofax storage and mainly I am using just for pens. I'm using it just for pens. So this specific caddy I got from Joann's and I bought this months and months ago. Um, it is just purple and black. And then I'll show you guys the inside. It has like this black and purple um, pattern there, if you guys can see that there. But um, I got it for I think 40% off. So I know it was for sure less than like $20, maybe like $15 or something like that or $16. Um, and it's great. It has lots of pockets and I'll go over that as I um, show you guys all my pens here. Um, I am using these um, Staples pencil boxes. By the way, um, I think I, I did see them still. They do still sell these um, craft totes at Michael's or at Joann's but they're in different colors now. I haven't seen any black and purple ones. Um, you might want to check Amazon. They might sell them there as well but I, I have seen like a teal and a black one so if you guys my teal lovers out there um, they do have like a teal and black one. Um, okay so I use Staples pencil slider cases. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it says staples on it. And they are this nice frosted color. I have some purple ones that you can see here, but mainly I like the clear frosted ones so that I can see what the pens are on the inside. Um, I have each box labeled with my label maker. And these are my Sharpie Ultrafine markers. I have lots of colors there. I have two boxes because I have so many of them, but I love using these for writing on my washi tape. They write really well with that. Um, and then I have this box here are my Pentel Energel pens. And then how this works is just it has like this button closure here. So you open this up and then slide it open like so. So you can have all the pens there. And Pentel Energels are really nice. If you like um, gel pens, they write very smooth, no skipping, and very bold um, lines with the 0 0.7. So I really like using these, and the colors are very um, vibrant. And then I have here my Sakura gel pens. And these, you guys may be familiar with them if you're like a crafter or... Um, you like pen paling. Um, usually some Asian um, gift shops sell the Stardust ones and they have like little glitter glitters on them and then they have other colors as well. Um, I think I did see them available at Michael's I believe. So I have a bunch of colors there and oh I love using the white for when I make my cards because it just um, gives that um, like chalkboard look so the white really stands out really well if you um, need a white pen I love the gel pen in white and then I have my Studio G fine liners again these are available at Michaels they look like that it says Studio G Fine Liners, and these are in 0.4 millimeters. And these are very comparable to 
the Paper Mate flares. If you guys are um, familiar with the Paper Mate flares, these are Paper Mate flare markers. These are in ultra fine and they are very similar to the Studio G. And then I have some Stedler pens. I don't like these too much. Um, the other 1.6 millimeter Maxim and they skip a lot and these are a ballpoint pen. I was hoping that um, the colors would be vibrant and you know it because it's a bold point pen that it would like come out it would show out really well but uh, it skips really bad so I don't recommend those. Um, these are some Sharpie highlighters. Um, I don't have too many highlighters. I'm not a big highlighter fan but um, I just have some you know just in case I do need them. And then back here in this row with my purple pink case um, the flap here is pink and then the box itself is purple. It's a little bit frosty. You can still see somewhat how it looks like on the inside. These are my Pilot Friction pens, 0.5 millimeter. These are one of my ultimate favorite pens. And I have all the colors there. If um, you don't know what Pilot Frictions are, they are erasable pens. They are gel ink. And then I have just some random pens in here. Have some mostly um, different color pens that I got from Morning Glory. And these, let's see, I have like a high high tech C. It's sort of like the Coletto, but in pen form. And this is a 0 0.3, and it's super scratchy. Um, not particularly my favorite. Um, Sharpie pens, you guys are familiar with these. They look like these. And a lot of, some of these pens um, I got as racks as well. So um, I, I don't purchase, I try not to purchase too many pens. Um, and then I have here my Muji erasable and these are 0 0.5. I love these um, when I'm not using my Pilot Friction, I'm using my Muji Erasable pens. And they look like this. The only gripe I have about these pens, as you can see, it has that sticker paper label on the pen itself. And they start peeling off and it's just really tacky that way. Um, I don't like removing them because sometimes they leave a sticky residue and then now you just end up with a sticky pen so I kind of just leave it on there but the eraser is on the top right here around this um, cap. Um, I am planning to do a review on those compared to the Pilot Frictions but um, they are very comparable. And then I just have a little sticker on there that says, I heart Filofaxi, um, which my friend Jane over in the UK made for me. I have some Pilot Friction 0.7 millimeters, and um, I first got into Pilot Friction pens when these came out, but they have the eraser here at the end. And this eraser I'm not too fond of. It... Um, the ink residue kind of sticks on there and then you kind of just end up with this um, mess. So I'm not too particular about these friction pens. These however are pretty good. These are the pencil ones and I think these were from Japan but again they're available from jetpens.com and then um, the eraser here is at the cap like so and these erasers are different um, they're kind of like the markers which I'm gonna go over in a little bit but those are my 0.7s um, and then I have some just black ink pens I have a lot of black ink pens because I used to work in the hospital and um, I used to use a lot of black pens I have my Pilot B2P pens these are made out of recycled um, water bottles so those are cool 
And then um, one of my other favorite black pens are the Uniball Jet Stream pens and some other random, just a bunch of black pens that I keep in there. Um, this sticker, I had a meetup back in July and so I created these stickers and I gave um, these pencil cases as giveaways. I have um, some Pentel Well black pens again. Lots of black pens that I used to use. And then if you can see here, there's um, some space because they don't take up too much space. So I just keep some extra markers to fill up that space there. And these are my Stedler Tripless Fine Liners. I love these and these are 0 0.3 millimeters. These are markers but they write super thin and they're really, really nice. And um, see how the case is. It's, the reason why I love these is because it's a case and it's a stand-in one. So if you ever travel with markers, these are great. You can just open this up and fold the lid in and now it's a stand. So that's really neat. And then I have in this front pocket um, is my pastel set. It's the Stedler Triplus Fine Liners, but in pastel colors. These are very um, light and has like a gray tone to them. And then what's great about this caddy is that there's even a pocket behind here as well. So you can definitely fit something in there if you needed to. And then there's this little Velcro pocket here. I don't think I have anything in there. Let me see. No, nothing in there. And then here's a little pocket right here and they store an extra Tombow mono multi glue in there. I love that glue for my crafting. And then I have some more Studler markers here. Um, these are the Lumo color. These are actually permanent markers and these are also great for washi tape as well. Um, any permanent marker is um, going to work good with washi tape. So I keep those right there. Again, there's a pocket behind there as well. And then let's go to the side. So in this first pocket here, I have um, some friction color markers. I love these. Um, again, these are erasable markers. So super cool. And then you can see here how the eraser is on the top of the cap like so. So really neat there. And then um, to the side of that right here, I just have some Goo Gone. Um, if you guys don't know what Goo Gone is, it removes grease, stickers, tar, gum, any sticky, gooey stuff. Um, it's like a like an oil, and it um, removes all that gunk that builds up. Um, lately, I've been using it a lot because my two-year-old is using her crayons everywhere and this just um, removes them like so easily. I don't have to keep scrubbing forever. Um, I just have some random paintbrush because I don't know where else to put it. Um, and then here in this pocket, there's um, this big pocket right here. I just keep these um, paper edger cutter thingies <laughs> here. And then let's go to the other side. I have the same setup. There's two pockets and then one full length back here. In this pouch, I have my little sake roll. And I love this pouch because you just unwrap it like so. And then I have all my Stabilo Point 88 markers there. And then you just roll it back up and then roll this around and just tuck that in. So I love that. It's like a nice purple color. And then in here I just have um, my box for my fountain pen, my Noodler's Ink fountain pen there. And then I have a putty knife for when I clean off my Cricut mats. I have some of these little spools um, you can get these at Michael's or Joann's, but I, I use these 
for my washi tape samples when I do giveaways or racks. And then I have this. Um, it's a tool that you use for um, sewing, but I use it for my notebooks. And it's great for when you're taking apart notebooks. If you like taking apart notebooks and then like cutting them up or something and putting them into your planner or your file effects. And then here in the back there is a zipper pouch. And then in here I just keep a bunch of um, refills for my pens. I have that. I have some Coletto refills. I have Sun Uniball, Jetstream, I have some erasers, some smash pens, a bunch of basically all my refills I keep in there. And that's pretty much it for my tote bag. I, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.